the next video will be the next installment from Little Book of Top Gear and it's Clarkson on Choice. Until quite recently it was possible to decorate your house once and then spend the rest of your life eating cheese and drinking wine but because this is no longer possible I've just installed a completely new kitchen. The trouble is every time you turn on the telly you have Kevin MacLeod who is a genius telling you that your old world farmhouse ways and all your grandfather's hand-me-down furniture is horrid and must be burned immediately. Then you go to the news agents where in the olden days you had a choice of horse or hound. Not anymore. Now you have interior design, design interiors, home design, design home, interior home, country home, country home and interiors. And one I can never resist. Wallpaper. This is men only in zinc and light and ash. It is full of angle poise lights, all of which cost millions and rugs which are usually a tiny bit more. And there's no escape when you walk around London these days because it's Rams furniture shops called B O and V D. All of them will go bankrupt when the economy slides into recession, but for now, they're winking at me as I walk by like a parade of hookers. I went in one the other day and bought the skin of a springbok which had been dyed orange. <clears throat> it looked great and was very reasonably priced at a mere £8,300,000. The result of this onslaught is no one can ever be truly satisfied with where they live. Which is why I've just removed an extreme, extraordinarily well-made Mark Wilkinson tongue and groove farmhouse kitchen and replaced it with something so clean and clinical. I'm certain I could operate on your family in there with no fear of them catching golden stuff. Although they might get sewn off with a tea bag still inside. That can happen if you remove someone's appendix on top of a dishwasher. Anyway, my new kitchen is made by a German company called Pog and Pole and disappointingly it's fairly terrible. Oh, it looks wonderful, a forest of right angles and brushed aluminium, but it was mind-bogglingly expensive for what it is basically a lot of poor quality wood, and worse still, I have a sneaking suspicion, it's not very well designed. The Germans may be able to make a car door that can be opened a million times a minute from now until the end of the time, but I suspect the life expectancy of the doors in my kitchen will be measurable in minutes, which of course is a good thing because by next Tuesday I shall have seen a new kitchen and wallpaper and I shall want that. In fact, I've caught the interior decorating bug so badly that even as we speak, <clears throat> a new sofa that's orange is on a boat over here from Spain. A woman in Norfolk is making a new bedhead. A local architect is designing an all-glass extension and I've accidentally turned the children's playroom into a utility space so sharp you could use it to crease Kevin Rudd's trousers. Did you know you now can buy a metal tube which can be used as a thunderbird style I mean of getting from the top floor of your house to the bottom. Or that you can now mount speakers that go behind your home cinema screen. Or that Farrow and Ball offer approximately 6,000 different shades of what to the untrained eyes were all blue. I'm not joking, the choice of things you can do to your house is absolutely endless. And this naturally brings me on to Jaguar's website. Since about 15% of my inner being quite fancies an XKR, my eye was caught by an advertisement recently for a new version called the XKRS. Intrigued by what sort of treasures this car might have in store, I went to their internet page and discovered that it is only available in black, only available as a hard top, only available with a piano interior, and only available with an automatic gearbox. And I couldn't help thinking, why? Why if Harvey Norman can offer me two trillion different sorts of kitchen chair, is Jaguar so belligerent? And it's the same story with Mercedes. Fancy a new SL63? Right. So how many colour options do you suppose to offer this $440,000 car? A million? A hundred thousand would seem to me a bit mean. But the actual answer is 11. Three standard colours and eight metallics. Although of the eight, two are black, three are silver. And that leaves you with a nasty red, a dreary grey and blue. Then you get to the massive range of four different interior colours. So you select one in a slash. Are asked to wait a moment while Mercedes electrons decide whether that interior is possible with the exterior shade you've selected. What do they mean by this? Why would it not be possible to combine any two options? Are they really saying that it is unacceptable to have a blue car with red seats? Because I'm sorry, those these people are German. I've seen their jackets. I've seen their shoes and I'll therefore not be lectured by them on what constitutes good taste. Wheels are the most important part of the way a car looks. The Honda Civic appeared in early photographs to be excellent but then it crept into the showroom 
wearing a set of casters and I'm afraid the whole package was ruined. So Mercedes offers a choice of three different wheels for the SL, one of which adds considerable dollars to the price. I'd like to see how these might look on the car, but oddly this is that isn't technically possible. I'm picking on Mercedes here, but truth be told, all car firms are just as bad. Mean in what they offer and mean it still in how these offers are displayed. For instance, if you're thinking of buying an M3, which is excellent, you'll go to the BMW site where you're invited to build your own car. So you click the link and the screen immediately says, The BMW car configurator uses Java Applet, Applet technology for which you require a Java plugin for your browser. Please check this plugin in, is installed and enabled. In the menu option, Tools, go to Internet Options and then Security. Click on Custom Level and scroll to Microsoft VM. Under Java permissions, click on High Safety. If there is no Microsoft VM entry, the virtual machine is not installed. You can obtain this plugin at h at www.java.com download. You may require administration rights from your PC to carry out the installation. If problems occur following the installation, please contact e-commerce at bmw.co.uk. What the hell does that mean? No one ever got rich enough to spend 145k on a car by spending half a day whittling away the, at the electronic wet dream of some nerd in Bracknell. Just put on the car on the screen and shut up, or buy RS4s instead. Except we won't because the RS4 isn't listed on the Audi website. A site where you're invited to design your car, submit the ideas to the factory and wait while it decides whether such a car can be built. I therefore have a plan which might come in handy as the bad journey's cruel Scottish boss lose ever more control over the nation's wealth. We know from the world of interior design there are a great many people who pay a great deal of money for something unusual, something different. Therefore, someone should set up a business which takes new cars and tells them precisely to a customer's requirements. Wheels, window tinting, electronics, leather paint. You could even do a deal with Audi, BMW, Merck and Jag, whereby unpainted, untrimmed shells are sent to your workshop for the last and most important stage of manufacture. The future's bright. You could make an orange too. So that's the end of that instalment of Little Book of Top Gear Genius.